Hello. I'm back on the video trail. I've had a few days off, and uh, I understand that one should not do a video unless one thinks they have something that needs to be said. Most of my videos are in that category, though some are, are meant for entertainment and some humor and such. I suppose that's all right. Today I want to talk about something very serious. I want to talk about the balance that exists in today's world between extreme danger, the danger of repeating the past, and the sane hope of rational progress. This little sight amid millions and millions of sites contains the essence of the unified theory that makes it possible, I believe for the first time, to accept what humanists have wanted but have been unable thus far to achieve without a philosophy that makes it possible to say, yes, we can hope now <laughs> in the evolution toward incremental reason, toward continuity, toward development that is not based upon the horrendous and ill-advised, risky and predictably suicidal reliance on the premises of the past. In this little video, I simply wish to talk about the precariousness of the balance. We have such things as Japan, which is making a very good decision to, to liberalize its economy and, and expand in that way, but is making a horrendously bad decision, which I suppose we are allowing, to militarize based on a kind of nationalism. Any nation that practice nas practices nationalism is practicing idolatry, which is the foundational sin of humankind. Saying that doesn't cure anything. I, I know that. But it has to be said and those who have voices that can be heard, whether they're in Japan or not, or wherever they are, where nationalism thrives, has to have to uh, speak out, speak out. I believe that the alternative to more and more militarism is more and more people coming to the premises of triadic philosophy. Triadic philosophy is the theme of this little YouTube site. And the elements of it, basing a philosophy upon ethics, and aesthetics in that order, and making aesthetics the action trigger, that philosophy is what will save us as all the people, all the people of the world. I'm not going to say more now because uh, there is much to say. But I do want to 
make one little postscript, and that is, I believe that belief in in continued militarism is a holdover from the philosophy erroneously stated by Nietzsche and others, which assumed that the will to power is the dominant reality, underlies reality, is, is ontology. And this is plain false. Triadic philosophy understands that the universe is based upon continuity. Continuity is its chronological movement forward. And that the patterns, the small number of patterns comparatively, that underlie the creation of which we are a part, contain within them elements of chance and freedom, as well as elements that have stability and continuity within themselves. Now, that is a huge, huge, huge philosophical canyon. And I would assume that it, that is what Derrida meant when he referred to Nietzsche as, as part of the syndrome of the past that, that he needed to move beyond. Now, I'm, I'm very partial to Nietzsche because Nietzsche understood as no philosopher ever had before that values are within us. That there is an... Uh, that we act upon values, that, that, that our li values are us. He understood that. And I honor that understanding. I went over to Sils Maria, where Nietzsche uh, spent his, much of his time and wandered about and thought and everything. <laughs> and in front of the Nietzsche house in Sils Maria, there is this huge black bronze eagle. <laughs> I mean, I mean it, it's almost as if, if they had made a decision to satirize themselves. I leave you with that. We are now poised like a seesaw, balanced, the number of people who understand triadic philosophy and act upon it and understand that by acting on values that are conscious, we can move forward is what will tilt that seesaw in the right direction. Thank you.